She asked me for time and space. I think she wants to calculate speed. I like that one from Einstein. I don't think he actually said that, obviously. I think it's just a funny meme. All right, so let's talk about space-time diagrams. And we're going to do the simple version. What I mean by simple is that uh, we're going to do it with just one reference frame. Because you're going to see in another video, we're going to do it with uh, two different reference frames drawn on the same graph. But for right now, we'll keep it as straightforward as we can. Because they're still a bit wacky and weird. Uh, here's the problem. Um, we have this construct, this four-dimensional construct called space-time. We we'll call it that because we've got space and time. And space is 3D, right, X, Y, Z. And then we have time together. So it's difficult to draw this. I mean, I don't know how to draw in 4D. So here's the issue. Because we can't draw in four dimensions, we do something really cheap. We're going to say, all right, take those three dimensions, you know, X, Y, Z, and let's just collapse them into one direction. And we'll just call it space. Some people use that as an X value, for example, just to sort of ignore the Y and Z. Basically, so we make, we collapse them all and just say space. And this is why we can do these diagrams called space-time diagrams. We put space on one axis, time on the other. We're used to seeing time on the X axis. However, space-time diagrams are almost always drawn with time on the Y axis. So that's going to be something, just keep that in mind. So sometimes what seems logical is not going to be because of that. So just keep that in mind here. So we have time, T. This could be in years. It could be whatever. And this will be space. This could be X and it could be in light years. It could be whatever. Uh, so let's uh, talk about this. And maybe I can do um, some different. Uh, I'll do like a world line, for example. Let's do, let's do an example of this right here. So look at this one right here. So what do you think this would be a graph of? If you think about it, you think, oh, this person here doesn't uh, move, for example, right? But actually, well, in this case right here, yeah, they stay the same space um, and time goes up right here. So as time goes up, they stay in the same space. So what does that really mean? This person right here is at rest, okay? Um, if we had something that went, I don't know, like maybe like this, let's just say like that. This would be at uh, constant velocity then, or constant speed. That could be an example of that. We could also have someone, oops, that's a really bad writing here, huh? constant speed. What if we had something like this, you know, something like this, for example, sort of goes up like that. So this could be someone who's sort of, you know, um, maybe it's going slow, um, and then actually speeds up. That's because, you know, the amount of space that they travel uh, versus the amount of time right here. And uh, as it gets steeper, that means that uh, they don't do very much space. Actually, this would be actually going faster and then slowing down, actually. This would be because uh, over a given time, remember time is on the y-axis. So this would be someone actually goes faster, uh, then slows down. Because remember, to stop, is to be going straight up. So see, this person is sort of going more and more sort of straight up. So this is how this can work. Uh, keep in mind, we can also have other kinds of space-time diagrams, and these are going to look really weird. We can also have them with this CT. So sometimes we like to do that instead. So sometimes we're doing with a CT, so we'll multiply T by C. Remember I talked about that when we did the space-time intervals. Um, this is uh, sort of like a distance within time. And we still have space here, and that could be, for example, x. Um, so if we have something like this right here, we could even have, for example, a straight line right here like this right here. This could be a uh, speed of light, which means in this case right here, then you can't go faster than the speed of light. So there's going to be some sort of limitations on your space-time diagrams based on this.